The holiday season at the Alderwood Mall means some people are quite literally home for the holidays. So this opens up directly to our fitness center. 328 apartment homes to be exact. Twin six-story towers connected by a sky bridge called Avalon Alderwood Place. It's very unique. This is our first that we've done in the country. This is where it all began. The remnants of an old Sears department store that was shuttered and torn down. Today, the development is giving new life to the mall. I think there's so much um, space that, uh, where the lights are going dark and it creates a, a big opportunity for us to be able to partner with mall owners and, and provide um, more housing uh, where it's needed. With light rail coming here in 2024, Linwood is uniquely suited for this sort of project. Avalon is drawing tenants tired of downtown Seattle. Once the trains are running, workers can be downtown in 15 minutes. Less time in your car means more time for yourself, with just about anything you need just a few steps away. Developer Adam Tritt says the old mall model simply doesn't work anymore. Today's consumer is living a faster paced life. They have higher expectations around convenience, and it's our job to offer them that. So is this the future of the American mall? Kind of. Not every defunct department store will become apartments, but analyst Candace Trevalier says malls will have to evolve and become more of an event. The event is to come and dine, be seen, be out, and then have entertainment. It has to be more of a lifestyle center. Huge hit. In the words of Mark Twain and Alderwood Mall Senior General Manager Jerry Irwin, reports of the death of the American mall have been greatly exaggerated, yes. <laughs> Avalon is already 96% full. Rents here start at about $2,400 a month for a studio, $3,500 a month for a two bedroom. By the way, a Shake Shack and a Brazilian steakhouse will soon be taking up residence here as well. Live in Linwood tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.